Today we're going to talk about getting a lien release for a vehicle and we're going to look at a specific example from Santander Consumer Financing. This is a lien holder that comes up quite a bit for getting a lien release. So we're going to go through the steps for you getting a lien release from Santander. Many of these steps can be used for other lenders and other financial institutions. Uh, just switch out the particular forms and documents for that lender. And you may need a lien release because the bank loan was paid off and either the title was never sent to you or it was sent to you and it became lost. Sometimes you have the title, but the lien was never removed from the DMV record. And if that's the case, you're going to need a lien release. So let's talk about the process first. This is from the New York State Department of Financial Services. Um, and it talks about what is a lien. It's a claim on a property to make sure the debt is paid. But once the debt is paid, they don't need to keep that lien on the property anymore. In order to obtain a lien release first, you have to pay off the loan. So if the balance of the loan is down to zero, then you need a lien release. Now, if you're watching this video and you have a loan which technically still has money owed, it is possible still to get a lien release. There are circumstances where you can get a lien release for a vehicle that still has money owed. Maybe it's a charge off, a write off, or maybe it's just a um, loan mitigation where you can get a lien release. We'll talk about that in other videos. This is for when the lien is actually paid off and you need to get a lien release. So according to the New York Department of Financial Regulations, the lender must execute a release of lien and mail it or deliver it to the owner no less than three business days following the clearance. So there's a law in the books that says they have to give you a, a lien release within a certain period of time after you pay off the loan. Also, the lender will notify the DMV that the loan is paid in full. Now, in real world, we see many times that the lien is not released in this way. A vehicle owner pays their last payment and the lien holder either doesn't send the title or lien release and certainly doesn't notify the DMV that the loan is paid. So what do you do then? Well, it tells you right here. If you don't receive the lien release, submit a request to your lender for proof that the loan has been satisfied. And we're gonna talk about how to do that. And then once that's been done, contact the DMV and verify that they have the lien release. And we recommend bringing that with you so you can give it to the lien holder. And then you can get a new title or have a title issued. What are the responsibilities of the lender? Since it's required to transfer ownership, any delays make it difficult for you to sell or trade in the vehicle causes problems for purchases and dealers. Section 2121 of the New York State law, and this happens in a lot of other states too, upon the satisfaction of a security interest, the lien holder shall immediately release the security interest in a manner prescribed by the commissioner. So they're not playing around. They say that the lien holder has to do this. It's not an option, right? And any finance company that doesn't do this, they're technically breaking this regulation and they can be fined, they can be censured, they can do other things. Now what happens if the bank or financial institution is closed? Well then you have to look up who's responsible for that. And there's some resources you can use, National Credit Union Association, FDIC, Secretary of State. There's some ways you can look that up. And we've talked about that in other videos. And you can get those links on our website at cartitles.com. Once you've Determine that, how do you contact the lien holder? Well, before you contact them, first get the lien release form. Here's an example of the form. This happens to be from the state of Nevada, and it's a lien release document. Can only be used to release lien on a printed title. So what you do is get this document. Don't contact the lien holder yet. First, get this document and fill it in. Put your VIN number in this space, put the year, make, model, put your name, name of the lien holder, and then contact the lien holder. What you're going to do is you're going to send this by mail 
to the financial institution. Don't call them. Don't email them. Send it by mail. In that envelope, put a return envelope so they can send it back to you. Because it's bad enough that they have to do work. What they're going to have to do is they're going to have to sign it. The one thing you can't do is you can't sign your name. And you have to put, or they're going to have to put the name of the person, first, middle, and last name, who signed it, what their title is. Leave that blank. They'll have to fill that in. And they're going to have to get it notarized. So here's what's going to happen. You're going to send this to the lien holder. Somebody's going to have to drop everything they're doing. But give them the least amount of work possible. So once you have this form filled out, ready to send, here's what you do. Here's Santander. Customer service. They have a main address and a payment address. You notice it's two different P.O. boxes. Which one do you think you're going to send it to? The answer is you're going to send it to both. Send two copies. Send one to the main address, one to the payment address. Put a return envelope in both of those mailings with a stamp on it. So all that person has to do is sign it, put it in the envelope you provided, mail it back to you. The reason we suggest doing that is because the person who's going to do this is doing some other job. They're working on filing new titles for new loans. They're maybe filing um, registrations for vehicles. Maybe they're processing payments. They're not a person in that Santander organization that's just waiting around to do a lien release. They're doing other jobs. So you want to make it easy for them so they don't have the temptation just to chuck it in the trash. Nobody's the wiser. Make it easy for them. Fill out the form. Mail it to their physical address. Now I know. I know. It's going to be tough to print out the form, write out an envelope, put a stamp on it. It's easier just to pick up the phone or email. I mean, it's tempting. You see right here on their website, here's phone number, customer service. Boom. Call that number. Tempting. Titles. Here's another number. Titles. What if I call that number? First of all, you're unlikely to get through. We talk to lien holders and banks and, and DMVs all day long. They don't have a lot of extra people just sitting around twiddling their thumbs waiting to answer your phone call. As you know, this day and age, customer service is very difficult. So don't try to do that. Do it by mail. Plus, even if you get somebody on the phone and they say, yeah, okay, I looked up your loan and I'm going to give you a lien release. Now, they have to stop what they're doing and they have to go find this form. Then they have to print it out. Then they have to fill it in. Then they have to find an envelope. Any one of those steps could be the thing that says, chuck it in the trash. Don't leave it to chance. So send it to both addresses. Cross your fingers. If they're going to send it back, which they normally do, they want to send this back. They want to get this off their plate. But they also want it to be easy. So wait a couple days. Then follow up with a phone call. Hey, did you get that thing I sent? Did you send it back? Hey, remember, you know, I noticed in my state you're supposed to do this within three business days. Did you do it within three business days? Then you can ask them those questions. But make it easy for them. You might not think it's your job and you shouldn't have to do this. And we agree, you shouldn't have to do this. But the reality is the lien holders sometimes have other priorities. Look for other videos for other lenders. Basically, it's going to be the same thing with a different address. But some other lenders have additional criteria. Remember, your state is in New York, but most states have laws that say the lender has to do this within a certain period of time. So don't let them off the hook. Check out our website, cartitles.com. We have a whole section on lien releases, how to do them, how to get them, all the forms, all the documents, and we'd be glad to be of assistance.